want to preach a message concerning life. Um, Genesis 2, 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Genesis 6, 17. And behold, I, even I, do bring a flood of waters upon the earth to destroy all flesh wherein is the breath of life from under heaven and everything that is in the earth shall die. Now why, why did God have a flood coming? It was because of judgment. It was because of judgment because the wickedness of man was great in the earth. Every thought, the imagination of their, their or every thought was their own evil continually. And so that because of that, God had to swiftly come in. So we see from Genesis 1 and um, chapter 2, around about that uh, period, to Genesis 6, the earth had become so bad that God had to bring in a flood. And so he instructed Noah, as you probably realise, to build an ark. So that the people who had entered into the ark would be safe from the judgment of God, in other words, from the flood. The flood which came upon the whole world, actually. And to be saved, we need to come to the Lord Jesus Christ. And that's what the message is about. It's about the Lord Jesus Christ alone, how he died on the cross for our sins. Christ died for our sins, according to the scriptures. He was buried, and he rose again the third day, according to the scriptures. Now, Matthew 25 and verse 46 says this, And these shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into life eternal. Uh, Mark 10, 45, For even the Son of Man co uh, came not to be ministered unto, but to minister, well that means serve, and to give his life a ransom for many. Uh, John 1, 4, In him, meaning the Lord Jesus Christ, in him was life, and the life was the light of men. Uh, Genesis, uh, John 3, How are you can we see over here for a moment, please? Yeah. I'm Michael from the council. Yeah, how I'm are you? I'm Michael from the council. How are you? Yeah, good. Yeah, my name's Dave, anyway. <laughs> Dave, yeah. we were talking um, in regards to the requirement. Have you got yeah. a, um, a permit at all? No. Oh, I did I did apply um, a couple of years ago, I think yep. it was, to the council, yep. to the Gold Coast City Council. Yep. Forget the man's name now, but I haven't actually got it on me, but he said that I can actually preach if I've got if I'm wearing the amplifier, like if I put an amplifier okay. on the ground, well then yep. I need public liability yep. and all that sort of stuff. Right. There, there's so, been you know. a, um, because this is a schoolies weekend, yeah. obviously yeah. they've brought down a, a number of different rules and regulations oh, as yeah. part of the program. Yeah. And yeah. Yes. And yeah. we've, we've is that like the tighter, tighter regulation or something, is it? Or? Yeah. yeah. As long as there's a peaceful assembly where you're just handing out things and talking, but oh, amplified, okay. amplified, amplified sounds and yeah. uh, taping setups of tables and setups and things like that, yeah, you do need oh. a permit under the uh, oh, okay. yeah. malls. And you need to have yeah. the Peaceful Assemblies Act that's, through the police. Oh, yeah, that's within the mall sort of thing, yeah. what yeah. you're talking about. Yeah, all, right, yeah, so, okay. yeah. all right, so just be aware yes. we, we, yeah. before we just let yeah. you know to start with, yeah. because we don't yeah. want to start issuing fines and all those types of things. Yeah, yeah. Right, so and, with you. Where do you get that? Uh, Peaceful assemblies yeah, that sort through of the thing, police. That You've got to get a permit through the oh, police. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that would allow you to do what? Well, what would that under the Peaceful Assemblies Act, they yeah. you put in a, an application, yeah. goes to the police, the police and council also check on it, make sure yeah. that there's no issues, oh, yeah. and they'll advise yeah. you of any issues. Oh, okay. All yeah. Right, so. yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So. So it's the amplification that's the problem, really, in yes, this case, yes, yes, in this uh, situation. That's yeah. why we've got Should it. Should you have an amplifier, tables or chairs, or any sign set up, you will need to have the activities approved yeah. under the roads and malls local law. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so and you're uh, talking about a sign so that's sort of, that's that, sort of and, and that's if you don't stationary. Have any, yeah. That's if you don't have any other yeah. permits lodged with the Peaceful Assemblies Act. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. So, right, yeah, so okay. in other words, if you've got a, if you've got a sign set up like stationary, will you need a permit there? Is that what you're telling me? Yes, or not? you'd need to yeah, have okay. the Peaceful Assemblies Act. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, alright then. Yeah. Alright, and obviously yeah. with the microphone and all those types of things, yeah. so it's going to be hard enough in here at the moment, with all yeah. the people coming through, so... Yeah, I understand. I mean, it, it's not as if 
I'm here to cause trouble. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I'm and that's why we thought we'd, we'd have a quick chat to you. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate you right. talking to me. You know, <laughs> okay, yeah. so. Yeah, thanks. All right, much. not a problem. Yeah. Right, thanks, thanks very Dave. much for that. All yeah. Right. Dave, so, what's just before. Name? Winnie. Dave Winning, I'm Brad Consumer. Yeah, I'll just, just before you go, I'll we'll give you something to read, if you don't mind. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Something to read? Yeah. Okay, have thanks. a good day anyway. Thanks, yeah. No Thank you. Yeah, it's all right. Oh well, sometimes you get that. I'll switch it off now anyway. At least I can still carry my sign legally by the look of it. So I'll do that and then we'll just sit up and give out a few tracks I suppose.